Hey guys, welcome back to Chess Goals YouTube. In today's video, we're going to go over the latest rating comparison update. A lot of you guys have heard about Chess Goals through our rating comparison page. We have a fresh update for December 2021, and we're going to look at chess.com against over the board ratings, Lee Chess versus chess.com, and Lee Chess versus over the board ratings. So let's jump right into the page and show you guys what we have here. At the top, you'll see there's a couple links. If you want to know about how the ratings work, there's a link here. And if you want to see the rating comparisons explained, we have a link here, as well as this YouTube video over on the right. And I'm not going to go too in depth on how the rating comparisons work, but you can look there if you want to dive deeper into it. All right, so let's look at chess.com ratings versus USCF and FIDE ratings. And what you'll see here is in the first column, we have chess.com blitz. And then the other columns are the equivalent ratings on average to that chess.com blitz rating. So for example, if your chess.com blitz rating is 800, we would expect on average your bullet rating to be 755 plus or minus 180 points. The plus or minus is one standard deviation. So we expect about 68% of players will fall into that range if they're active in both categories. So that's another thing to note with these tables. We're subsetting to only active players in both categories. So if you haven't played bullet in a year, maybe your bullet rating should be higher or lower depending on how your blitz rating has changed over the past year, etc. So an 800 blitz is about 755 bullet. 995 rapid and 655 uscf and fide we don't have enough data at the lower ratings because this is only looking at the most recent fide rating supplement and a lot of players haven't been playing recently and especially at the lower ratings for fide but we have quite a bit of data for uscf so the uscf column is a lot more accurate in my opinion than the fide column until you get to the higher ratings, and then the FIDE ratings are pretty tightly matched to the Blitz ratings. All right, let's go to 1100. 1100 chess.com Blitz. This is where we're kind of getting into that intermediate level. It's about 1025 Bullet, 1260 Rapid, and 1025 USCF. So one thing to note is these chess.com ratings are going to stay pretty close to USCF, especially for Blitz and for Bullet. Now if we go to the next page, 1400, this is kind of a middle intermediate player, sometimes you can maybe call them intermediate two, um, based on some of our old study guides. 1400 is 1330 bullet, 1520 rapid, 1395 USCF, only five points off of the blitz. And here we see FIDE now coming into play, 1470, pretty close to this 1400. Now if we go up to the advanced level, 1700 blitz, slightly lower on bullet, slightly higher on rapid right around 1700 both uscf and fide this is one of the things i really like about playing on chess.com versus lee chess your chess.com ratings are very close to over the board ratings. so if you haven't been playing a lot over the board or if you've never played over the board you can be pretty confident that your chess.com ratings will be at least close to your over the board ratings once you get into the swing of playing and over the board you might have to have some adjustments playing with 3D pieces, learning to notate, those kind of things. But they should fairly closely fall in line, right? The stronger you are at Blitz, Bullet, and Rapid on chess.com, the stronger you will tend to be in over-the-board play. And I've seen that in almost all the data I've looked at so far. Uh, 2000 rating in Blitz is 1950, Bullet, and Rapid. About 1940 USCF, 1930 FIDE. So pretty nice uh, rating system here for chess.com blitz. It gives you a good idea of what you're at in terms of over the board ratings. All right, let's go to Lee Chess versus chess.com. A lot of players are very interested in this comparison. And these are subset to players with RD values less than 150 for every category in the table. So again, these are mapped to chess.com blitz ratings. That's where we have the most data. An 800 rating in chess.com blitz is 1175 in Lee Chess Blitz. This has gone up since March of 2021. The Lee Chess ratings are higher than they were nine months ago. So that's something to keep in mind. 
If you've seen your leech S rating has gone up, let's say 50 points since March, it's hard to know if that's just due to inflation or due to an increase in skill, 50 points. Um, but on average, it seems like the leech S ratings have gone up about 50 points in the last nine months. We see leech S bullet slightly lower and rapid and classical are even higher. So these are 500 points above chess.com blitz. Getting to the intermediate level, 1100 we're looking at about a 350 point increase now in Lee chess blitz and again bullets a little lower and rapid is much higher we're looking at 1600s for rapid being an 1100 blitz this is why when someone asks what is your chess rating I think it's reasonable to give an over-the-board rating or a chess.com rating but if you give a Lee Chess rating, you should definitely let the person know this is a Lee Chess rating. If you come in to an over-the-board event and someone says, what's your rating? And you only play on Lee Chess and Rapid or Classical, and you say, hey, I'm 1650, that 1650 doesn't equate well to Chess.com Blitz, right? So, or over the board. So I think it's worth giving a qualifier like, hey, I'm 1650, that's Lee Chess Rapid. Now let's go up to... 1400 chess.com. Now we're looking at about a 320 point increase on Lee Chess Blitz. And again, bullets a little lower. Rapid and classical are a little bit higher for Lee Chess. Uh, 1700 chess.com Blitz. Now we're looking at a 230 point increase to get to the Lee Chess rating for Blitz. And again, we see these same differences bullets a little bit lower and rapid and classical are a little bit higher. And you'll start to notice that these rapid and classical ratings are very, very tightly bunched together. We see this for both Lee Chess and for Chess.com Rapid. So it's not just a Lee Chess thing. Um, you'll notice that as well for Chess.com. All right, so now let's go up to the 2000 level. 2000 Chess.com Blitz. Now we're only looking at a 140 point spread. So these ratings start to become closer as your rating gets higher. And that's something that I've seen in data that I've looked at too, just like knowing certain players, um, right around 2200, really the ratings become close, especially 2300, and there's not much different at all between the two servers. So that's something to keep in mind. As you approach 2200, 2300, if you tell someone, hey, I'm 2300 on Lee Chess, that should mean about 2300 chess.com blitz, which also is going to translate to probably master level 2200 or so USCF. So the ratings are starting to become more accurate for Lee Chess when you get into those very high tiers, you know, top couple percent of Lee Chess players. All right, and finally, let's go to Lee Chess versus over the board ratings. These tables will exactly map to the two tables above. So if you find two levels that match up above in the previous two tables, that'll also match up, that'll line up with this table number three. Um, so here these ratings are a little bit different because these values match the values in the tables above. So we don't see like the 100 point gaps here, they're slightly different. Um, but let's look at a couple common values. So we'll say like 1100, 75 blitz, lines up to about 655 USCF, and we've kind of seen the lead chess comparisons above in table two. So we're looking at a 500 point difference there, um, maybe 520 points, lead chess blitz higher than USCF. 1490 lead chess blitz is about 1090 USCF, so we're looking at a 400 point difference. And if we go to 1720 blitz, that's about 1400 USCF, so 320 point difference. It's a little bit closer to FIDE though. But again, keep in mind, there's not a lot of FIDE data. So again, these FIDE ratings tend to be bunched kind of closely together. Um, I'm hoping as we do more updates down the road and players are getting back to playing more over the board chess, that those FIDE ratings start to spread out a little bit and maybe become a little bit more accurate. I think the the largest complaint I've seen with these most recent updates are the FIDE ratings. People feel that the FIDE ratings aren't as accurate as they could be. But the thing about the FIDE ratings is we have less data. And also, 
This is based on only players that are actively playing in V-Day events. And with the pandemic, a lot less players are playing, and it might be dependent on which countries are active with their over-the-board events, right? So when we get everyone back to over-the-board, we're going to have more accurate comparisons for V-Day in the future. Um, if we go up to 2000 Blitz, we're looking at 1775 USCF and about the same for FIDE. And I think that should be pretty accurate for FIDE because now we're not so close to that lower end where all the ratings were bunched together. Now we're kind of in the middle of the FIDE data. That should be pretty accurate. And if we go up to 2200 Leech S Blitz, now we're looking at about expert level USCF and expert level in FIDE. I again think that should be pretty accurate. And really to be a master um, in terms of USCF or a FIDE master, you probably are looking at 23 to 2500 on Lee Chess. Uh, but there are definitely some speed specialists in Lee Chess that are not master level in classical. It's always something to keep in mind. These are just averages. It doesn't necessarily mean that every single player should match up exactly, right? So these are averages. We got the plus or minus. For 68% of the players who are active in both categories, and there's still 32% of the players that are above or below that range. So keep all of that in mind. This is just to give you an idea of approximately where you're at in the different categories. And I like to use this data to see if there's maybe a certain category I should work on. Do I need to work a little on my blitz over the board, maybe bullet, um, and try to work on my ratings that are lagging the other rating categories. All right, so that's the rating comparison. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.